Hey friends, thanks for tuning in. Today I want to share with you some hope and encouragement from the Word of God. And the hope and encouragement comes from the letter of 1 John. In 1 John chapter 3, verse 2, the Apostle John writes, Beloved, now we are children of God, and it has not appeared as yet what we will be. We know that when He appears, we will be like Him, because we will see Him just as He is. That's great news. Because living a godly life, living righteously, can be an awfully difficult thing. Some of you may be watching this video in the middle of trying to overcome an alcohol addiction or trying to kick a meth habit. Maybe for some of you, your battle is against pornography or opioids. Maybe for others, the struggle isn't against a chemical, but it's a struggle against depression or self-hatred. Or it's a struggle against something like anger or bitterness or perhaps greed and worldliness, not being content with the things that you have in life, or self-centeredness. The point is, all of us have things that we struggle with. Every one of us has spiritual battles that we have to fight, and those battles can be very discouraging. The more we fight against them, and the more we stumble and trip up, the more we can easily think, you know, this just isn't really worth it. Am I really making any progress? Maybe you're to the point that you've been so discouraged by the lack of progress that you've just sort of given up. Or maybe your goal this week was to try to, to overcome some things and build better habits only to see those goals fall by the wayside and to give in to temptation again. If you can identify with some of these struggles, then you know how hard it can be to see yourself as anything other than a failure. How easy it can be to think, I'm never going to be able to change this habit or overcome this addiction or beat this temptation. How can I get to the place that I want to be spiritually? Here's the encouragement. John says there's going to come a day when we'll be able to overcome those things. There's going to come a day when we're not going to have to battle against temptation. We're not going to have to face sin and addiction anymore. When Jesus appears, we'll be like him. Now, how does this perspective this hope of one day being like Jesus, help us in our battle against temptation today. Well, notice the very next thing that John says in verse 3. And everyone who has this hope fixed on him purifies himself, just as he is pure. So we fix our hope on Jesus, and that motivates us to live pure lives. The problem is that temptation offers all kinds of other hopes. That if we give into temptation, we'll get immediate gratification. We'll get some sort of pleasure or approval or a reward of some kind. But one of the ways we overcome temptation is by instead fixing our hope on Jesus rather than, than on all of the false temporary hopes that temptation offers. And so when we fix our hope on Jesus, that, that idea that we'll be like him one day, it motivates us to being like him now and living lives of purity. So that's the encouragement. Fix your hope on Jesus, on being like him one day. And let that motivate you to live a life that's committed to purity and holiness today. And above all, don't give up. God bless you, everybody.